Hello everybody and welcome back. We joined this time by the lovely Miss Michelle in person. Hello everyone. I'll be showing you anomalies I featured across a couple of videos in the past. These are at a site just south of Pi. We'll be looking at three or four photographs and I'll show you new upscales that I did using Gigapixel AI. First photograph, USGS Dune Database number 0380-426 Monitoring. It was acquired by High Rise on the 21st of May 2019 at 25.2 cm per pixel. As always, I'm showing images cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected files. And there's a look at the low res black and white. So the site's located over here inside the Harkis Terra, just south of Pi, at roughly 42 degrees, 46 minutes south, 38 degrees, 2 minutes east. So to start off with, we're going to be looking at that strange disk type anomaly. I'd say it's about 5 meters in diameter. The one on the left is done using Gigapixel AI and in the past I used PhotoZoom Pro 7 and that is what we used to see. Gigapixel AI brings out the detail a lot better. Check that out folks. It looks like this disk is mounted to this half disk shaped feature on the left hand side. I don't know what's going on there. Looks like this is also slightly hollowed out and this shows up in a couple of photographs too. We'll take a look at those in a moment. Let's zoom in on another disk like Anomaly. It's a little bit smaller. This one's more sort of rectangular but it's got nice rounded corners and it also seems to be mounted to this larger part on the left hand side. This thing's got like a shield shape to it. It's also hollowed out on the inside. Second photograph in this feature, USGS Dune Database number 0380-426 monitoring. This one was acquired on the 12th of January 2023 at 25.1 cm per pixel. And again, I'm showing you images cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file. And there's that strange dune field that doesn't seem to move. I could be wrong, but uh, from what I've seen, the dunes look exactly the same. And the site is at the same position. We'll be zooming in on that item again. Check out the disk on this thing. Slightly hollowed out over here. What could this be? Rather odd. Then we'll be zooming in on that looks like wreckage. Or some type of debris. That's what it looked like in the past when I used PhotoZoom Pro 7. And here it is in Gigapixel AI. Check out the long straight pieces. Clearly defined edges, right angles. And this part here seems to be cleared away as well. Next up, that strange piece. Check that out. It shows up very nicely with a new upscaling software. Got like a disc shape to the right hand side. Odd object on the top. And then this looks almost like a face. Two eyes, the nose and the mouth. Not that that is a face, guys, but interesting to see that shape. This is very strange. 
then we're looking at the rectangular item there. It's about 10 meters long. That's how it showed up in the past. Check out the uniformity in the thickness of this large piece. It looks like a slab. And it looks like there's another block protruding out the one side. Nice right angles. Slightly rounded edge. Looks like it's slightly concave there as well. Right, let's zoom in on that odd piece. And it has this weird hole in it. It's got a right angle and then an arc to it. That long narrow block. Slightly carved away. Like a step. And then this shows up in a couple of photographs as well. It's got a nice arc shape to it. Nothing else like it in these photographs. Well, except for those that show the exact same object. A nice rounded design. I'll add that part here to the left. Dune Symmetry is the next photograph we're analyzing, acquired on the 28th of December 2009 at 25.5 cm per pixel. Again, the images are from the JP2 black and white map projected file. Now you can see those dunes again, folks. Same location. Then we'll zoom in on the anomaly there. So yeah, check this out. That was PhotoZoom Pro 7 and Gigapixel AI. Lots of straight edges and right angles. Uniformity in the thickness of these blocks. Parallel placement. Strange rectangular hole on this part. Then the rectangular item there also looks rather out of place. So I showed up in the past. Check out the symmetry and geometry to this piece. Also the uniformity in its thickness. And there's that arc type anomaly again. Check this out. I wonder what this could be. It sticks out like a sore finger. In this strange piece, it looks slightly hollowed out with a long narrow part in the center. It looks like this is hollow. Check that out. This part spanning that opening. Another one of those blocks, a small protrusion or knob on it, and another block up here to the left. This is also so abundant on Mars. The blocks with these protrusions close to the centers. Rather odd piece here. Round protrusion on the one side. That's a little part sticking up there. It looks like an elbow joint. One of my subscribers compared this to a flower. Check this out, guys. Looks like a leaf. Not that it is. It's rather interesting, though. 
and the right angles to the pieces next to it it's very interesting check out this part as well elevated off the surface okay down to Noakis Terra site is located right here to the south of Pi about 100 kilometers south as a look at the anomalies I just featured as I say these were all upscaled using gigapixel AI and as I say very careful to keep the settings at the minimum otherwise it's strange other artifacts appearing so let's have a look at how they showed up in PhotoZoom Pro 7 in the past there's a couple I didn't feature here again as always I'm only doing those that are really really interesting this photograph is totally washed out as well and then the last one pause if you need to to check those out and then let's look at one other site just for good measure but more of these odd pieces with smaller protrusions or objects on their surfaces multiple blocks and slabs there and then this type of arrangement with three smaller items on these blocks is also quite common there's a lot of these megalithic type anomalies in these photographs to check those out three in a triangular pattern there another one of those the pot in its center t-shape you see that often there's another triangle I should do this site next where oh, that block comes out of this larger piece I'll definitely be doing this site next so look out for the redux of this one and with that said we're done with this video Michelle and I will see you in the next one soon. Goodbye everyone. Take care. Ciao for now.